What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm vlogging because I'm going on a work trip to Manchester again, but this time I'm going for two nights or three days. And because of rail strikes and all kinds of um, chaos, we're actually flying there. The last time I went to Manchester on a work trip, I was on my own, but this time there's a few of us engineers. We're going to Manchester for um, their careers fair, the University of Manchester, which is where I graduated from. It's not gonna be a regular work vlog, but work vlog nonetheless. So I'm currently at Heathrow. I am flying business business class your girl is bougie i've never flown business class although on a short trip i don't think it makes that much of a difference but i think there's gonna be free drinks maybe food i don't know and i think there's a lounge that i can use but i don't know because i fly easyjet i don't fly british the hr coordinator that we're also going with she said that she's at the lounge and i don't know if that's before or after security because again your girl doesn't really do business class anyway let's go and figure out what i need to be for security even though I have a salad from Tesco my tiny Tesco salad just as my bag was going away on the little conveyor belt I realized that the salad has a dressing in it which is definitely liquid but they didn't say anything and I was like okay it works for me look at all that food and I brought a Tesco salad guys why am i filming in the bathroom i don't know so we came to the gate and then they announced that the flight is delayed it's currently 5 20 p.m we were supposed to take off in nine minutes which clearly were not we found another mini lounge which is so cute it's practically the exact same one but it's smaller we're all having like drinks and just chatting and stuff but it's kind of nice But at the same time, they just made an announcement that we have like a few minutes until we start the scent, which is ridiculous. Champagne. I think I can get used to this. We just got to the hotel. It's currently nine o'clock. We took a taxi from Manchester Airport, and that literally took as long as our flight. Our flight, the shortest flight ever. We took off immediately as we took off. They brought out food like those tiny salad things, literally two bites. We couldn't even finish, and they're like, "Okay, we're." about to take off okay this hotel has like this ring light situation what the heck why did that just turn on the hotel is so fancy <laughs> it's so nice everything is so nice like i'm so not used to this but i'm having the best time ever now we're going to a bar downstairs i'll go get ready and let my phone charge for a bit and i'll see you after six and a half hours later hey guys i am back in the room and i am tired the bar was really nice i didn't really film it at all but i took a picture of it I started ironing my clothes for tomorrow and the day after I just thought I'll iron everything and then I realized I never did a room tour and the hotel is kind of nice I think it deserves a room tour let's get into it so this is what you see as you come in we have tea coffee whatever yours truly <laughs> this is my souvenir from the flight and this is the mirror that has the ring light that keeps turning on this is the bathroom and it has a bathtub as well, which I don't think I'll use. It looks ginormous. I just sat there, so that's why it's messy. So the bed looks amazing. And then the clothes that I'm ironing. <laughs> and the board. Um, there's a TV. Me again. Another mirror. So that was the room tour. I'll finish my ironing and getting ready for bed. And I'll see you tomorrow. So good night. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to day two of this Manchester adventure. I just need a drink. We still like Monster on this channel. And yeah, I know it's bad for you before you all come for me in the comments. Best sound in the morning. 
By the way, it's really funny that when I came to Manchester for my graduation, there's a vlog from that. I was wearing this exact top. <laughs> I actually bought this for my graduation and today randomly I'm wearing it again in Manchester. Very interesting information. Let me just reply to a message. Okay, we're back. Where was I? What was I saying? I don't know. Today is the careers fair that we're actually here for. That is happening at 11 o'clock, but we're gonna go at 10 because we need to set up our stand, the table, etc. We're gonna be there from 10 until 2 o'clock. And also before that, we're gonna meet for breakfast slash coffee at 9.30 downstairs. Currently, it's 8.56, so I actually don't have much time. There's also a close friend of mine who's still in Manchester and I really wanna see him. And then we're going for a dinner in this really fancy French restaurant. All paid for after the dinner, we're probably gonna go for drinks or something like that. So it's gonna be a long, busy day. I'd love to mention that this bed, one of the most comfortable beds I've slept in my life. I don't know what it is with hotels and beds, but they just hit different. Like the sleep you get in a hotel room just doesn't compare to anything else. I only wish I went to bed earlier because I went to bed quite late. I have five minutes and I need to be downstairs, so I better hurry. I'm definitely changing the shorts. So this is the outfit. I am going. I'm actually a little bit late. Oops, sorry. That's all I have for now. Let's go grab some coffee. I'm not hungry at all, even though there's breakfast included. But if they have pancakes, I might get a bite of a pancake just for the sake of it. Pancakes is my top three most favorite foods and I never really eat them, like very, very rarely. So if they have pancakes, I might get one. I'm starting. quick check-in. So things are going well. Actually, we have so many students and they seem to be quite interested. So it's, it's really cool. So it's really fun, actually. It's currently, what time is it? 12. We're here until 2. Oh, and this is the actual t-shirt. Wait. Represent. I'm starting to live in the moment while you're on cloud nine. Yeah. It's it's kind of the competition. Career's fair is done. Then we went for a quick lunch, but we kept it very light um, because we have dinner soon and it was getting quite late. Then I went back to the hotel to drop off my stuff and now I'm gonna meet um, a friend from uni and I'm really excited about it. He lives somewhere here. Look at that, absolutely amazing. I also forgot my camera, so we'll be doing this on my phone for the rest of the day. So I had a really nice catch up with my friend. He made us some cocktails as well. He had like this whole bar cart. I didn't really vlog with him because we only had like an hour and a half. So we had to be like really focused on the catching up part. Just got an Uber to the restaurant. I've never been to proper French restaurants. So I literally have no idea what to expect. Also it's 6.30 in case you're wondering. It's actually getting really cold as well. Let's go inside and see what's up. Let's do a quick update because it's currently almost 1.30 a.m. and I haven't vlogged much. We went to the French restaurant. I tried snails for the first time. That was... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not convinced about the snails, although to be fair, they were a lot better than I thought they would be. And then one of the guys convinced me to try half an oyster. I've never had an oyster in my life. And if you like oysters, please skip to... I'll put a timestamp here where you can skip to because the next sentences are not gonna be nice. Honestly, the most disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth. Like, I don't understand how people eat that shit. I, probably it's like an acquired taste and maybe if you eat them more often, you get used to them. First of all, they just taste like the ocean like they just taste like sea water which was i mean mm. but the thing is the texture oh my goodness disgusting disgusting 
I mean, if you like them, more power to you. Enjoy them, but definitely not for me. After that, the snails felt like, uh, I don't know, chicken nuggets. I wish I could feel my reaction to the oyster. I had it in the front of my mouth and I was like, I don't want to spit it out because I'm with people and I don't want to be rude. But at the same time, it's not going anywhere because it's that disgusting, traumatizing experience. And now I can say I've tried oysters and probably first and last time in my life. Oyster run over. My main was like this beef thing. And then for dessert, I had some creme brulee. It was such a nice experience to be able to eat like some fancy food because I'd never really take myself to a place like this. So it was quite interesting. And then a bunch of us went for drinks in uh, gay village. It's Wednesday night, so the place was pretty dead. But we got some drinks and we danced a bit. It was fun. I have a flight tomorrow morning at 8.55, which doesn't sound too bad, but we need to leave here at around 7, which means I need to wake up at like 6.30 at the latest. So I need to wash my hair and I need to get my luggage ready right now. Also, my voice is gone, so I can't really keep talking. I'll see you tomorrow. I've been stuck in limbo, thinking about the rainbow way over there. I don't have a car, so gotta take the high road if I really care. I deserve to feel much better, but weeks and weeks are faced by weather. It must be really up to me. I got back in the office and we're about to finish this vlog again in a bathroom i feel like that's literally the theme of this vlog but basically i just came to the office freshened up a little bit because i didn't want to look like a zombie from the walking dead i literally just cut my finger i'm holding my phone and i can see my finger like the blood streaming down but anyway i hope you enjoyed it it was such a fun trip for me first time flying business even on a 30 minute flight with an airbus air 320 bus still it was pretty cool with all the lounges and the fancy hotel and all of that stuff definitely not used to that but i can definitely get used to it thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys